Hi guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am temporarily borrowing Kevy's studio um, <laughs> again. Um, it is at night now and the lighting out there is not the best. So uh, his studio is well lit. So he said I could use it to record my video to introduce you to my new guitar. This guitar is replacing my Taylor um, GS Mini in Rosewood. Um, I needed another acoustic electric. If you haven't been following along, I will put links to the two videos I did with Kevy in this studio uh, explaining what happened with the Taylor friends and family deal and um, why I don't have a Taylor anymore. Um, anyway, <laughs> if you want to watch those videos after you've watched this one, I would appreciate it. Um, anyway, let's get to this. This is my new Yamaha. Uh, FSX 800C and uh, uh, I just want to call her Ruby because uh, this color is Ruby Red and um, I just love it. It's translucent so the grain is visible under the red and it's gloss and it's beautiful. I'll get a closer look for you here. Um, the neck and back and sides are Nato and Okum. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the top is solid spruce. It is a beautiful sounding guitar. It's gloss finish. Um, it has a matte finish on the neck to make it nice and smooth to play. Um, it has 20 frets. The fingerboard wood is walnut. Beautiful wood. Um, fingerboard radius 15 and 3 quarter inches. Um, nut and saddle are urea. Tuners are die cast chrome. The electronics in it. This is the electronic panel. Um, it is System 66 and SRT piezo pickups uh, in it, uh, piezo pickup in it. Uh, the controls are uh, volume three band equalizer with uh, low, mid, and high, and a uh, tuner, which is pretty, pretty spot on. Y uh, Yamaha knows how to tune things, um, and it's uh, mid FQ for the, um, the preamp. So uh, it runs on two AA batteries, which is a lot easier to find sometimes than nine volts. And um, it's just this slim little thing here that you pull out, put the batteries in and click it in. Um, anyway, look at that grain on the back. Isn't that striping just gorgeous? I really love this guitar. I I ordered it in sight unseen because they didn't have one in, in stock. Uh, we ordered it in and it came in and as soon as I saw it, it was like, oh, I love it already. I love it already. <laughs> it is red, of course. And that is my favorite color in the world. Always has been. Um, it has scallop bracing. It is a small body, which is perfect for me. It is the proper size for me. Slide back so you can see it. Proper size for me because I can't handle a big dreadnought. Um, it, I just don't have the upper body measurements to get over and play it properly. So this is the kind of body size for me. Um, I haven't played it very much at all. Um, I only got it 
like yesterday, <laughs> okay? Um, and I have been lax on playing guitar for a long while now because of health issues. Um, I zapped my energy. Uh, it takes a lot for me to do much right now. Um, not to worry, I am under a doctor's care and we are narrowing down the reason for the um, absolute fatigue that I feel. But um, I will be getting back to playing it, especially now that I've got Ruby in my house. Um, I have other guitars too. Um, I'm sure you know if you've been watching the channel. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you, this is the replacement for my Taylor Mini, GS Mini. And um, I got a, um, a Rouge Valley um, gig bag to um, transport this in should I want to take it out of the house. I want to protect it. Not that it is a, a really expensive um, guitar, but from all things I've heard um, and seen, Yamaha makes impressive guitars. Um, they are uh, pretty bulletproof and built like tanks and give you years of service for the value. Um, this one was just below 500 pre-tax in Canadian dollars. And uh, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have this in my hands right now. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Mitchell, but it is miles ahead of the Mitchell in quality, in, in looks, in everything. Like it is impressing me just being here. Um, anyway, uh, I have tuned it up prior to starting this video, so let's... There we go. It has some really good um, tone to it. I really, uh, I'm impressed with it. I, I love it already. Um, it has tortoise shell pick guard, single layer which um, suits me just fine. Um, I don't need anything really thick here. It's just basically a skim over the surface of the guitar, so that to me works. And the brown tortoise shell goes well with my brown leather strap. Um, this is gonna make me wanna get it, pick it up and play it. Um, I can't lie to you, red, is my color and just seeing it on the wall makes me very very happy so um, if anything is going to inspire me to play this will um, other than that there uh, it's like 20 frets I think yes there's 20 frets and uh, they are really nice um, Let's see if I can remember any fingering here. That's a D. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember other stuff. <laughs> yeah. And Yeah, I'll have to come back and play something for you once I've played a bit more again and gotten back into it. <coughs> um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I am uh, really happy with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I have something in my throat. Um... I, of course, also have uh, purchased an amp. I will be making another video um, to show you that. 
um, I purchased an amp to go with my Taylor um, GS Mini because I got an ES Go uh, clip in uh, amp, uh, clip in electronics for the Taylor Mini. <laughs> But since I had to turn the tailor back in, I turned in the ES Go as well. Um, I never even put it in the guitar, so I returned it pristine and got that refunded as well. So I purchased a um, acoustic amp, which I will show you in a future video when I come back to play this. I will debut that as well well I play this for you both acoustically and through the acoustic amp um, in the same video but thanks very much for watching I just wanted to introduce you to my new friend Ruby and um, I will be getting back into playing guitar very very shortly Stay tuned for more videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. And um, I will uh, see you on the next video. That way you won't miss any videos I upload when I upload them. And uh, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.